Hey guys, it's Steve. It is Tuesday, September 10th, 2019. And in this video, I'm going to do a review video. And what I'm reviewing is Brisk Fruit Punch. Here's the bottle closer up. This is as close as I can bring it because the computer is kind of in the way. Um, yeah. Now, I was originally going to do a rant tonight. Uh, I know I did a rant last night. Uh, I was going to do a rant tonight as well on aging, but uh, I just I couldn't do it that well. Uh, there were so many bloopers, I couldn't talk well. I kept forgetting to mention things. Uh, and I'm just deciding just to postpone it and do it some other time. I'll do it soon. Uh, I also got a couple other rants in mind that I'll do soon as well, but, um, so, I just decided to do this review video instead on the Brisk Fruit Punch. Got this at Speedway like a couple minutes ago. Uh, now this is the second Brisk that I'm reviewing. I already reviewed the, the Lemon Iced Tea back on February 1st of 2018, last year. So this is the second Brisk I'm reviewing. I'm kind of shocked I haven't reviewed this. I wanted to review this brisk for a long time, but I just haven't. But I decided to get it tonight and review it. Um, but, uh, yeah, this is like a... What's the... side of this bottle? I think it's uh, 24 ounce. I could be wrong. I don't know. Uh, but this is a big bottle. Um, but yeah, let's read the nutrition fact of this. It contains 1% juice. The nutrition facts is about four servings per container. Serving size, eight fluid ounces, 240 milliliters. Amount per serving, uh, calories, 45. Uh, total fat, 0 grams, 0% 0 sodium, 55 milligrams, 2%, total carbohydrates, 12 grams, 4%, total sugar is 11 grams, includes 11 grams of added sugar, 22%, not a significant source of other nutrients, uh, and the ingredients are water, high fructose corn syrup, citric acid, pear juice, uh, pear, yeah, pear juice concentrate, natural flavor, phosphoric acid, potassium, citric sodium, phosphate, I can't pronounce that, protect the flavor, potassium, benzoate, preserves freshness, gum arabic, potassium sobrate, preserves freshness, uh, acylophane, potassium, uh, red 40, and I'm not reading this entire shit. Uh, or Xanth, Xanthan gum, sucralose, glycerol, ester of rosin, calcium, disodium, that's to protect flavor, blue one. Uh, yeah, I've read the entire ingredients. Uh, this expires on December 30th, so it has like three months, over three months actually, um, yeah, artist Brandon Brooks, whoever that is, but yeah, oh, this is a one liter, one liter bottle, Yeah, it has a fruit punch smell to it. Doesn't smell bad at all. And let's give this a try. This is an iced tea. I don't think it is. 
I think the lemon one that I reviewed last year was a iced tea, a lemon iced tea. I think this is just fruit punch juice. It's like 7.37 p.m. right now. All right, brisk fruit punch. Uh, what does this taste like? It basically tastes like a regular fruit punch drink. Um, it's definitely sweet. Uh, no diet aftertaste because it obviously has sugar in it. Um, but uh, yeah, it basically tastes like a fruit punch drink like a Hawaiian punch or other fruit punch. I remember I reviewed a fruit punch flavored drink like a couple weeks ago or was it a month ago? I don't know. I forgot what it was that was fruit punch that I reviewed that had a fruit punch flavor. Uh, but yeah, it basically just has a regular fruit punch flavor to it. Um, it's pretty good though. Um, I'm not a huge fan of fruit punch flavor. I do like them a lot, but they're not my favorite types of drinks. Um, but honestly, there's really nothing that bad about this that I could, you know, there's no, excuse me, I feel like I have to burp. There's really nothing to complain about about this. Um, it's really good. Um, this fruit punch is it my favorite flavor favorite thing to drink um but I give this I say a 9 out of 10 9.5 really nothing to complain about just it's not my favorite drink to drink but it is really good so I'm, that's why I'm giving it like a 9 out of 10 or 9.5 I don't know I'll give it a 9 out of 10 um but these are really good I definitely recommend them if you come across this if you haven't had it. Uh, would I get this again? Probably not, but I would drink this again though, but I don't know if I get this again. This was pretty cheap. This was a dollar and something cent. It was over a dollar, so this was pretty cheap for a bigger bottle too. And this is a one liter. This isn't, you know... like just a 12 ounce bottle this is a one liter but I'll definitely finish this this is really good uh, I can't tell what fruits it has I don't know what fruits Hawaiian punch has in it Maybe a little bit of cherry? I don't know. I mean, this, the color is like a, a pinkish red. Uh, it has pear juice in it. I've never had pear juice. So I don't know what that tastes like. I can't really describe what, like the, I can tell you it has a fruit punch flavor, but I can't tell you like what fruits or whatever is in it. Strawberries, maybe. Maybe some citrus fruits. I don't know. But I did say that's pear juice. But, yeah, I don't really know what else to say about this. Um, get this if you come across it if you haven't had it. Um, 
def definitely recommend you having this, especially if you like, you know, fruit punch drinks, you fruit punch flavored drinks, mm, definitely get this. Um, what do you guys think of this? If you had, if you like it, you dislike it, feel free to comment down below. But uh, that's basically all I have to say for this video. Not too much, um, but just. Basically a regular fruit punch flavor drink. That's what it tastes like. I mean, like a Hawaiian punch or whatever. Or maybe Kool-Aid. Who knows, I think this may taste like Kool-Aid. I don't really drink Kool-Aid that much. I haven't had Kool-Aid since I was younger, but um, yeah. What does it say here? Nah, not important. Yeah, this is my video. I'll do more review videos, more rants, more vlogs. Thunder it might thunderstorm uh, this week, so maybe I'll have a thunderstorm. But maybe tonight, I don't know. I gotta check the weather uh, when the next time it's supposed to storm. But I did hear storms this week. So I'll do a thunderstorm video if there are storms and if I feel like doing one. Uh, uh, Maybe a NHL 2K2 gameplay since I haven't done one in a while. Maybe I'll do that or one of my other NHL games. And yeah, any other types of videos I do on this channel. So, see you later guys. Goodbye. Have a good one.